Hey everyone, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're talking about how to fix OpenAI API's insufficient quota error. So I'm using OpenAI's API to generate project descriptions for full stack projects. Full stack projects is my little side project that tries to basically provide a ton of procedurally generated ideas. And so an idea often isn't enough, it's just like a string. And so we're trying to give some project descriptions to kind of use AI for um, some of this like legwork that I don't wanna do myself. And I recently ran into an insufficient quota error which blocked my generation process. I'm trying to do this for like tens of thousands of ideas. Um, and so it's not a surprise that I you know, ran into some limit issues. And so here we'll discuss what this error message means and how I fixed it. All right, let's first talk about the insufficient quota error. So during my generation, I noticed I was getting some errors. My thing was throwing, I wasn't generating any more descriptions. And on further inspection, it was an error of type insufficient quota. And the response payload kind of looks like this. I've, I've stripped out um, a lot of the unnecessary parts, but this is the main one. We got an error here. Um, we can see that the type and the code are insufficient quota. And then it basically says like, hey, you just exceeded your current quota. Check your plan and billing details. And then it gives you a link to learn more about this. And basically what this means is that you've just exceeded your account limits. Um, and the most common causes of this are one, you're running out of credits, so you don't have enough money in your account to actually pay for the generation. So it's not gonna do it for you. Um, and the other one is going over rate limits. The rate limits are pretty generous, but when you're doing like batch jobs for like tens of thousands of things, it's pretty easy to see how you might um, exceed them on accident. And so we'll go over how to fix this next. Now, I think the first thing you should do is just check that you have credit limits in your account. You can do this by going to the OpenAI website, navigating to your profile, go to the billing tab, and then just check that your credit balance is greater than $0. And so um, here I am in my account, let me go to billing. And this is just the OpenAI thing. You can go to the dashboard here, then you can get to your profile by clicking this and clicking your profile. And then you click the billing tab um, here on the left side and you'll see your credit balance here. So I have $18.80 in it. And so this would mean that I, I shouldn't run into this at least for the credits. Now in my case, I'd run out of credits. I um, mean, that's what was actually causing this. So I did need to buy more. And that's what you see here. I, I have credits available now. Um, unfortunately, this did not resolve my issue right away. I was kind of like looking around after I'd put in 20 more dollars to see if there's something else I needed to do. Um, but really I just had to wait. So it took about four hours for my new credits to be respected by the API um, and then allowing my generation to continue. And so if you run into this issue and you're, you know, topped up on credits, but it's still not working, maybe just like wait a few hours. Um, it seems to take some time for their system to acknowledge that. Now, if you do have credits available, then you might be going over your rate limits. You can find your account's rate limits and your profile again in the limits tab, and they do change by usage tier. And so it is possible that your limits are gonna be different than mine. Um, so if we go back over to the profile thing, and then on the left, we can go to limits here and we'll see a bunch of different limits by model. And we can see that um, it's not quite so straightforward because the limits for the tokens, which is basically like the amount of words kind of that's returned are different um, per minute. This is tokens per minute here. And then for requests and other limits, here's like requests per minute. Some of them have requests per day, stuff like that. And it depends on which model you're using. And so this is highly dependent on what you're actually using it for. Um, so you just gotta check this page yourself. And so the, probably just go check those. And then I think if you're in doubt, you don't know if you're going over the limits or not, but you have a suspicion, probably just temporarily lower your generation so you can know for sure if you're exceeding it or not. For example, for me, I reduced my generation to one per minute um, while I was debugging my quota errors to just make sure that like this wasn't the cause of it and also to get some signal if it starts working again, I can see that immediately. Um, so probably try that if it's not your credits. Next. So I'm still generating a bunch of project descriptions for full stack projects and I'll probably write a post about my learnings when that's complete, so stay tuned for that. Um, particularly interested in like procedural SEO, procedural like descriptions and using that to kind of go into like procedural voting and ranking and stuff like that. I think that's an interesting use case for LLMs, um, but we'll kind of see how that goes. Now, if you like this post, you might also like how to call OpenAI's API with F-sharp, uh, targeting the GPT-4.0 model. This is basically how I'm doing my um, project description generation. So if you want to learn more about that, um, this is a good place to start. You might also be interested in the Hamstack, a simple scalable tech stack for building modern web apps fast and cheap. This is basically the system design that I use to start all of my apps these days and kind of how I'm pushing um, most system designs that I work in, even at work and stuff to go towards because it's simple, it scales, and I just think most software um, should be simpler. And then finally, you might be interested in build a simple single file web API with F -sharp Draft to give you a very simple starting point for building your own um, web apps using F -sharp. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.